Starting off the video with the OG Haracha slash Chanclas. If y'all watched my 2018 to 2019 videos with the S2K when I first started modding it, y'all will know that I always rock these in every single video, most of every videos. These are the OGs. I'm gonna start bringing them back. I'm, you know, I'm gonna take these to car meets when I go, bro. I'm gonna stun them, fools. Like, look at that. Uh. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching another video. We are back at it with another one. Like I just said, I have no idea how to start these intros every time, so keep fucking up, dude. Hope everyone's having a blessed day. Today is Sunday. We are starting off with an awesome mod for the Lexus. I have not touched this car in probably two weeks just because I've been really busy with work and just a bunch of other side things. But let me give you guys an update on how the car is doing. The fitment is still the same. It is tight as hell. There is the back and the front. Looking really good. Like I said, I have not touched the car in a couple weeks. As you guys can see, there's a little more camber on this side. I still have to adjust the camber, the ride height. I'm still gonna roll the fenders for the car to make it drivable. I believe I'm probably gonna have to raise the car a little bit and probably roll out the fenders just a tad bit so I don't rub. Also, you guys can see that the Lexus is in here. The S2000 is not here. I'm currently getting it retinted by my homie, Herrera Tinting. You guys can see that he did my IS300. I got 5% all around and 20% in the front. This guy is awesome. The car's a little dirty, so it doesn't really help. But this guy did a phenomenal job. He's located in Santa Rosa, California. I'm for sure going to him with all my tinting needs for all my cars. I recommend all my homies to him. The garage is coming out really nice, guys. I really love having my own place to work on my cars. It has been nothing but fun working on my cars in my own little area. It's cool not to be stressing and freaking rushing. I actually have a place to sit down, play some music, work on my whips, just vibe, and enjoy the process. Okay, so let's hop into the video for what we're gonna do today for the IS300. So I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really a big fan of the red lights that the Lexus have for the rear end. I went ahead and ordered new clear tails for these, I believe they're brake lights. I may be incorrect, but for these lights right here, let me go ahead and show you guys real quick. So I bought these off of eBay because they're really inexpensive and I don't think there's anything bad with buying some of these products off of eBay or Amazon or anything like that. Um, these are just your basic clear to these look freaking awesome. Holy crap. This is the first time I've opened these. I opened the box the other day, but look at this. Wow. Let's compare it real quick. So right here we got the red compared to the clear. Oh, that's gonna look so much better with the vibe I'm going with. That looks hella good, what the hell? All right, that's gonna be cool. The really cool thing, um, obviously when you change out your taillights to clears, you're gonna need red bulbs because obviously red for brake. So they went ahead and sent me these red lamps for the car. That is awesome right there, cool. So now I don't, that saves me a trip from going to freaking AutoZone and buying some. So today's big project is actually making these clear. So for the IS300, you have to, I, I believe they're for most taillights, correct me if I'm wrong, they are not glued, they are plastic welded together. So they come already shut. So in order to open these up, to get this red reflector out, we have to cut it with a Dremel, which I did purchase the other day, really excited to use that. Um, so today we're gonna end up attempting my best without cracking the glass to cut open this whole housing and take out this red Reflector. I want to give a quick shout out to my homie Lexus G. He has an amazing IS300. He is from, I believe he's out east somewhere in Europe uh, or Australia. One of the two. I believe he's in Australia. Um, but the homie recommended and gave me advice on what to do and how to do this because I was curious. I've never opened up a taillight before, so we're going to attempt for our first time. And like I said, it's not like a headlight where you can just put it in the oven and then pry it open. This you actually have to cut open and hopefully not crack the glass right here because I've heard that is very difficult to do and that's something that a lot of people do end up doing is when you cut really close to the seam I guess you can crack this whole area right here or not just this area but the whole glass in general so we're gonna do our very best today to not crack the glass so let's get one good look at the IS 300 with the red tails for the last time 
This is gonna be a sick mod to do for the car. Super excited to see the clear taillights. That's gonna be awesome. So enough of me talking, let's go ahead and take out the taillights and then after we can swap out these two little fuckers and let's get into the video. So after you have the two Phillips screws removed, I literally just messed around with it, pushed it back and forth in this direction and it came out. So go ahead and do that. And then just go ahead and disconnect all the lamps and wiring and bulbs from this housing and you should be good to go. There we are. First tail light out. These are actually super light. I thought this was gonna be a lot heavier, but this is really light. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the second one real quick and get that one out so we can get started. There we go, second one is out. So as I was saying before, you wanna be really careful when cutting the taillights from what I was told. You wanna to cut as closest as you can to essentially this plastic molding. You do not wanna to touch the glass. You wanna to touch it as little as you can, excuse me, um, because you will crack it if you go too much on there. So we are gonna grab the Dremel and start cutting this. All right, so we are in my little backyard area, home gym, place, whatever you want to call it. Um, we are going to go ahead and start cutting the taillights right here. I wanted to put them on a soft area just in case I had to put the lens on. Dude, these things are so bad. It's, um, the lens on the floor. I don't want to scratch them up. So I got the Dremel right there. For the adhesive and or silicone that we're going to use to enclose them, we're going to be using this. I used them on my, let me adjust the ISO. I use this for my headlights to close them up and I've had no issue. This is like less than like, I think six bucks per. I hope this is enough because this is the only one I have. So we're gonna see if this is enough to close these up and not let any moisture in. You can go ahead and grab these at your local AutoZone O'Reilly's. Really recommend this stuff, it works really good. First thing first, before we start cutting, you're gonna want eye protection. So I need to grab some glasses because once you start cutting, you're gonna have shit flying everywhere. So always be safe, um, let's get some glasses. So the Dremel is set up, um, got the small little cutting wheel on there, got the safety glasses on, uh, like a fucking baller in this shit. Next step is uh, cutting over the taillights. Kind of nervous, kind of really don't want to fuck this up, but uh, fuck it, let's do it. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes or so, and I did finally finish the first tail light. It wasn't really that hard, to be honest. Um, it's just very time consuming because you really do want to be careful when cutting into the headlight, or excuse me, the tail light, and you want to do your best not to crack this. That was the biggest thing I was worried about was cracking this, and thank goodness I didn't because I took my time, but it is very tedious, but the end result looks sick. Um, so got that taken care of. Just really simple, just follow the lines. Follow underneath the glass, that's what I did. That worked really good. You're gonna cut into the plastic a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, and then after that, you're going to grab this assembly and just pop it out. What I did to pop this reflector out was grab something long. I grabbed my little knife sharpener and popped it in the back housing right here. And then there's four tabs that you, should, that you have to push and it just ends up popping out and that just looks so much better. Like I said, not very hard at all. It's very time consuming to do. Um, it's gonna look so awesome. I can already tell right now. You can just, let's just do a quick mock-up of how that's gonna look. Oh yeah, that's gonna look so much better. Obviously, I'm gonna clean it out, make sure all the corners are cut tight, looking good. Then we're gonna put the adhesive sealant on there and make sure everything is sealed up correctly, make sure no dust or anything is in there, and we should be good to go. Well, that kind of sucks. So, as I was, I'm like literally three quarters, literally three quarters of the way there. This little section was stuck right here. Everything else came loose. I barely pried it up and this is what happens. Ah, uh, fantastic. So that cracked. That is what's gonna happen if you don't cut it fully all the way. 
but that's no problem because I can order a new one and we should be good but that kind of sucks that actually really sucks really didn't want to order a new one but it is what it is at least you guys can see what to do and what not to do and obviously don't pry it as hard as I did because you're gonna end up cracking the lens I guess I'll just, yep was literally not even that much god damn it well that sucks it is what it is now now I just have to order a new one and take my time on that I really didn't want to spend the money on it but it is what it is it's all part of the game that really sucks but it is what it is it's part of the game I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video right here and I'll see you guys. The next clip should be the arrival of the new one and then we'll go ahead and finish the whole installation process. So, see you guys in the next clip. All right guys, so it's been a couple weeks of me filming the whole process of making the rear tail lights clear for the IS300. Well, the reason it took maybe a couple weeks to finish this video was because I did order the tail lights from this site and they were on back order and sadly enough when they were delivered, the tail light that I needed was cracked. To email the company, they reset me another one so it took way longer than it should have. The other day I knocked out the process of cutting the tail light, sealing it up correctly and let me just say the tail lights look so freaking good. I already mounted them on the IS300. I'll walk you guys through the process of how I did it. So let's go to the garage, let's go check out the car and I'm super excited for you guys to see the tail lights. They honestly changed the whole rear end of the car and they look freaking dope and I can't wait for you guys to see them. So let's go check them out. All right, so I don't know how the audience is gonna be right now. I'm just giving the car a cold start. But look at that guys. Dude, that looks so much freaking better. Holy crap. Obviously they're not perfect. Let me drop the car real quick. All right, that's better. Hey yeah, guys, this is the end result of the clear tail lights. Like I was saying, it was not a super difficult process to do but it was tedious because the main thing that you want to focus on is not cracking the glass itself um, I think in the future I might redo these they aren't 100% perfect you can't see the sealant that I used a little bit right here which doesn't really bother me that much but if this car ever does become a show car then you know obviously I want to redo all that little stuff but this side is a little bit worse compared to the other side as you guys can see that is the sealant right there that I use it's not horrible the only thing I'm kind of upset about with this whole driver side taillight is that you can see the sealant that I used right here it did leak into the taillight that's because I did cut a little bit too much of the back plastic portion so when I was sealing it up it did seep into here but other than that these taillights came out freaking awesome. Now as for these two, I did buy them on eBay for fairly cheap, for a fairly cheap price. I believe they were like 15 bucks or something like that. And yeah, these are pretty easy to install. Just open the trunk, pop out the tabs, and there's like this little pin that you close and just swap out the bulb itself. And it was pretty easy. So let me know what you guys think about the clear taillights on the IS300. I personally think they look really freaking good. Definitely changes up the look of the rear end and it is so freaking cool. I was really scared at first to do the whole cutting and opening up and sealing itself. I, I opened up my headlights myself for the S2000, which was pretty cool because that gave me the confidence to open up my taillight. When it comes to modifying your own car, you're gonna break stuff, stuff's gonna go wrong, but don't let that hold you back. And the end result is always the best, guys. Like This makes me super happy. It may not be perfect, but it makes me happy that I did it myself and at least I tried and now I know what to do and what not to do when it comes to doing this itself. And I don't know, man, it feels cool and it feels amazing just doing this stuff by yourself and actually seeing your car transform. And I think it just looks fucking sick. So this is what the taillights look without the red light in it. I still need to change this out on both ends, but that'll be something I do on a different day. At night, this is gonna look pretty freaking sick. There you go, there's a better look. So you guys can see right there. Hey guys, that's gonna be it for the video. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry it took a little long again. I had to wait for the old tail light. Um, again, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Horrible editing the video. <laughs>
Alright guys, that's gonna be it for the video. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you that said, Oh my god. I really appreciate each and every one of you that took time out of your day to watch this video. I suck at ending it. Alright, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscription. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces. <laughs> I fucking suck at ending videos.